Hey, I've got a question for you. What happens when you take an obscure character from Transformers R.I.D. 2001, the Mystery Machine, and Transformers Legacy Scrap Hook? Well, the answer is you get Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee, 2000 Robots in Disguise Universe, Toe Line. The subject of today's Deceptibot 9 reviews, let's tow it! <laughs> How's it going everyone? Deceptibot9 here and thank you as always for joining me for another episode of Deceptibot9 Reviews. Now I'd like to ask before we take a look at the robot, if you like what you see, go ahead, leave me a like. Plus, if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button already, why don't you? Or, I'm gonna have to tow ya. Uh, <laughs> and, if you want to follow me anywhere else on the internet, all of my social links are in the description down below. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and tow our way down to the review station. There's going to be a lot of tow puns here. And check out Legacy Evolution Tow Line. All right, and here is Transformers Legacy Robots in Disguise 2000 Universe Tow Line. It's what a title, what a name. We got to love him for it. Uh, in all of his glory. And now I will admit, I've never actually seen R.I.D. 2001, but I have to say, I love the scrap hook mold. The colors and the head sculpt were very intriguing to me. And I also just love that we were getting um, more characters from this part of the universe because it was a bit of a big influence to my, my Transformers knowledge growing up because I grew up uh, in the early 2000s. So, uh, you know, its influence was heavy uh, in, in my days. But yeah, so I gotta say, even though he doesn't look a lot like the original character, obviously he's a little bit more um, Mad Max uh, post-apocalyptic, I still think he's really, really solid and a lot of fun. I think I like him better than I like Scraphook because this is just a crazy color combination. Uh, um, but with all that said, Let's go ahead and take a look at the details on this guy. All right, so we'll come up here first with the head sculpt, which is the only new piece of molding on this figure. Everything else is um, from scrap hook, but the head here is brand new, and it looks very much like the original toe line head sculpt, and I honestly really, really like it. He's got a light blue up here at the top with some dots going on right there. He's got an orange visor in there, a little bit of a silver face plate and green all the way around the rest of the face. And if you look at the rest of the chest here, we've got all this molded detail going on these little vent system, which is all uh, the same as it was on scrap hook. Other than the head, he is just a straight repaint, so everything here uh, is on scrap hook it's just newly painted so we got the orange in the middle we got the light blue on the outside and the green there with a red autobot logo we get a little bit of purple going on here in the shoulders and the neck area on the backpack section here you see more orange and more green moving around to the arms and such you can see just a lot of this green with the blue trim purple wheels uh with some silver rims that are painted uh, blue it looks like there's blue in there on the back i put his exhaust pipes on the back so these are done up in uh, all silver and you can see there is a little bit of molded detail going on uh, on the inside of the backpack here which I do really like. I don't know why they molded that there but it's really cool. Uh, it's on scrap hook as well. I just I really like that. You can see the rest of the back of the figure here. There's a lot of green, blue, and purple coming over here back to the front. Some molded detail going on here in the waist done up in the purple. We got a blue, the light blue color. Uh, very Allspark blue-ish almost. At least coming out on camera that way. You remember Allspark blue? I love all spark blue when it was happening i don't know why uh, it's good memories there moving down to the legs he's got more green with a little bit of spike mold going on here and same thing as the back side here we got a little bit of blue with some spiky detail we get purple wheels and silver rims and back to the front now the feet which will become the front of the vehicle painted up in silver with all of that molded detail going on in there that you would see on the front of a car with a little bit of blue here with some scrape and some holding together and just some flat green feet. And of course, he's got all his accessories too, which are done up in uh, all of the now toe hook color, or toe line, excuse me, toe line colors, uh, but we'll get to accessories here in a minute. So yeah, I mean, overall, I think toe line looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, he is a little bit more Mad Maxed up than, than 
his original design, but honestly, I'm a fan of the scrap hook mold, so I do not mind it one bit. Uh, I absolutely love it. I think the color scheme is fantastic. New head sculpt is great. He is just so much fun. I, I think I like him a lot better than scrap hook. He is a lot of fun. All right, so with all of that detail covered, let's go ahead and move into accessories. Now, talking about accessories, I'm going to only talk about here in this bit, and I'll touch on the other one in a minute, the external things that he comes with. Um, because, if you don't know, part of the thing with this Junkie on molds is that they come apart at their 5mm sections all over the place, so you can mix and match and use them uh, to build up uh, other figures or to build up you know, completely new figures, which is a great design philosophy that I love. I don't use it as much on a toe line as I do with the other Junkions because, you know, he's toe line, so I want him to kind of stay as him, but just so you know, his arms do pop off here at the top, and his legs, his knees come off right here, um, so do with that as you will. Now, as for the other accessories, they're all the same as scrap hooks, but he of course does come with this uh, extra wheel that looks like it also could be a little bit of a Gatling gun or something here, but it's got spikes all over it, a couple broken ones, just a five millimeter peg on the back. There's five millimeter ports all over this guy, so you are free to put these accessories wherever you would like. As we saw in the turnaround or in the detail section, uh, his exhaust pipes here, uh, I put them on the back just because uh, I don't really know where to put them in robot mode because I like trying to keep them, uh, you know, kind of at least close to the original design aspect in some way. Uh, something I saw was neat though. <laughs> it doesn't really work uh, in in practice as well as it did in this picture. When Hasbro dropped their stock photography figure uh, pictures of this guy, which was actually uh, two days after I found the figure in a Target, uh, they had displayed uh, toe line in robot mode like this with the exhaust pipes coming out of the shoulders like that and the arms coming out of the exhaust pipes, I actually thought it was a super cool look. I know the internet made fun of it <laughs> because of how kind of dumb it looked, but unfortunately, that doesn't really hold up because the uh, exhaust pipes are very prone. The exhaust pipes are prone to falling out easier because their peg is about half the length of the regular you can kind of see there it's a short little nub peg compared to the arm peg so they don't really stay in there which is kind of a shame because i actually really wanted to display him like that but anyway that was a little side tangent uh he does come with two sets of, or two of those exhaust pipes uh he also of course comes with these little pieces that form his engine block but also become guns in robot mode done up all in green with silver paint up at the top plug right into the fists or right here on the shins or wherever you want them and then of course he's not toe line without his toe hook so he's got the toe hook it looks like it's molded in green and painted in purple there's two pieces here of course it is the uh big towing piece and then the actual hook piece and how i like to display him in robot mode is i like to put the hook up on the top and put it just in the hand so it looks like he's just got a big old hook to grab people with. So, again, uh, there is no stopping. I mean, you know, there is a definitive transformation in the robot mode and setup. But the thing I love about the Junkie on molds is that you can display them however you wish in a variety of ways. So, now that we've covered accessories, let's go ahead and cover articulation exactly the same as scrap hook but i never actually reviewed scrap hook in full on the channel so let's go ahead and cover the articulation huh head here is on a swivel which will get it going all the way around arms do go all the way around here as well they go out uh, only about that far before they start to get blocked there the elbows here are on a swivel up near the top um, but you do have to be warned or be careful of them they fixed it a little bit i think the tolerance is on this mold but the the clip joint here on the elbow can have a tendency to pop out depending on how tight this mushroom peg is so just be careful about that but that also does cause him technically to have two elbow joints get him going about that much uh, wrist swivel right here as well could theoretically go all the way around waist swivel gets him going 
all the way around. Legs go forward that far. They go backward that far. I love the leg articulation on this guy. They go out all the way. Toe line is a full 10 out of 10 splits. We love to see that out of them. Uh, a swivel here at the knee and knee joint goes all the way about 90. And the feet, uh, they bend all the way back like this. They can go forward all the way. They're on this, this, current, this I don't know what to call this joint, but they're on this joint system here, so you can get them pivoting uh, and flopping all the ways around that you would like. I have so much fun posing this mold. It's just, I really like the scrapbook mold overall. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and show some robot mode comparison. <laughs> All right, here is toe line with our fellow uh, Legacy Evolution Junkions that I have at this point. I do not have Axel Grease yet, but I've got Scrap Hook and Crash Bar. And I mean, yeah, because he's the same kind of mold, he does fit in. But of course, his color scheme is going to be a little bit different. But maybe with Axel Grease to kind of balance it out because she has a different color scheme, it might not look that odd. Here is toe line with our only other R.I.D. 2001 uh, character to ha we that we've gotten so far in Legacy, that being, of course, Scourge from the Velocitron subline. So at least he's got a buddy. And of course, we'll show Toe Line off with our standard Masters of the Universe Masterverse figure. This one being Vicron. All right, I think that's about it for robot mode. So let's go ahead and get this guy transformed up into his tow truck mode. And here is Tow Line all transformed up into his tow truck vehicle mode. And yeah, this is where the mystery machine part comes in because I don't know, he looks so much like the mystery machine. I realize the colors are, you know, swapped or whatever. The mystery machine is more blue than green, but you get the drift, man. Like, this is. The mystery machine, <laughs> if it was a tow truck. Like, let's be real. Anyway, he is super, super cool in this vehicle mode. I absolutely adore it. So let's go ahead and check out the details on this newly formed tow truck. All right, coming up at the front here, which was the uh, the feet for robot mode. Now we get the full truck mode grill all formed out. You can see it is asymmetrical, which is really cool. It's got a lot of spikes. Paint it all up in silver, but now you can see how it is truly meant to be. Now we got these two engine block pieces up here, which are, of course, done in silver, molded in green. We got all the green down here for the hood with a little bit of blue accent trim. Now you can see that's what sort of one complete piece there it was separated due to the foot and the shin happening of course the wheels remain the same and now we get this nice orange all the way around for this sort of shuttered window look with all these spikes up here at the top and we get this little molded accent piece going on there at the top of the windows now the uh, exhaust pipes here which are on the doors i put mine on the doors you can again put them wherever there are ports right there you can put them on the back of the wheels whichever one you absolutely prefer for this version i like to put them on the uh the doors for whatever reason and of course coming to the back do get a little bit of visible hand syndrome nothing uh really too terrible they're in a good enough spot that i don't really notice it all that often and of course the hook comes up and around here you 
you can put the wheel here on the back or wherever you would like. A little bit of purple accents going on here, a little bit of blue peeking out, a little bit of purple up on the top. And if we look underneath, he folds up really well. There is not a lot, of, no any actually, really barely any robot kibble here. Of course, you can tell the waist is there. These were the feet, but you wouldn't, you know, it's kind of hard to know that. Um, and then the hands are folded up there. So yeah, he compacts really, really well, folds up into a nice little tow truck. Again, it is a little bit more um, aesthetically different than the original figure and the original character. I think for some maybe diehard RAD fans likings, but me as someone who only has passing knowledge of tow line, I enjoy the vehicle mode here an absolute whole lot. So why don't we go ahead and check out some comparisons in vehicle mode. Here he is again with his Junkion buddies from Legacy. Of course, we got his uh, mold mate here, Scrap Hook, who I still love, and Crash Bar, who I do love as well. So, good looking Junkion squad, in my opinion. Here he is with Leader Class Scourge, so you can see how those two trucks look in comparison to each other. One's mean and green, one's mean and that <laughs> and of course this is not to scale with actual vehicles but here is tow line with vicron all right well i think that's gonna about do it for legacy evolution tow line here so let's go ahead and oh we're getting towed we're getting towed up guys oh no all right all right i get it i get it i'm here jeez louise so what are my final thoughts on legacy evolution Robots in Disguise 2000 Universe tow line here from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee subline. Again, man, that is a full ass <laughs> title name that he's got going on. I think he's a lot of fun. I love it. As somebody who loves the scrap hook mold and loves that we're getting figures from other universes uh, that don't have a lot of representation in Legacy, I do really love that we're getting a version of tow line. Um, I think he's a lot of fun. Would I have preferred him to get an original mold that looks more like his original counterpart? Absolutely, but I wish that of every figure, basically. But not every figure gets to have that treatment, so I think, uh, as a fill-in, I think a retool, or a re- with a new head and a new paint job that, uh, the scrap hook mold does the trick here for R.I.D. 2001 tow line. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for my full review of the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Evolution Robots in Disguise 2000 Universe tow line. That's the last time I'm saying that full name, God damn it! Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on tow line down below. Like I said, I picked mine up at Target. He seems pretty plentiful uh, these couple days. I picked mine up uh, a few days before San Diego Comic-Con, so I've had him for a little bit to, to mess around with him. But go ahead and let me know your thoughts on Toe Line down below. Do you want to see more characters from R&D 2001 make their way into the Legacy uh, subline, and who would you like to see? All that stuff. Let's talk about all that Legacy R&D 2001 stuff in the comments down below. And guys, that is the end of another episode of Deceptibot 9 Reviews. If you made it all the way to the end, Thank you, man. I really, truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And as always, I have been your host, Deceptibot9. Thank you, as always, for joining me. And I will see you guys later. <laughs>